Hi, this is Ling Wong at BusinessSoulWork.com, where you can find thought-provoking, gut-punching content and resources, plus business and marketing coaching with a mindset and psychic twist to help you translate your vision, purpose, and superpowers into practical strategies, compelling offerings, and effective communication that sell. If you're a coach, consultant, or service professional, you probably have heard time and again to charge what you are worth. We have also been told to raise our fees and sell premium packages so we can earn more and work less. Well, all sound good on paper until the rubber meets the road and you actually have to sell that premium package to a client. I have seen so many people who have gone through some trainings to design a premium package or having um, tons of script um, sell con sales conversation scripts sitting on their hard drive only to find that the premium package is collecting dust on their website. The sales pages and packages look good with all the fixings but the mindset behind premium selling is missing. The catchphrase, charge what you're worth, may be doing more harm than good in this situation. And let me tell you why. Oops, so here's the thing. The amount of money people pay you has nothing to do with your self-worth. In fact, if you tie how much your clients are paying you to the concept of what you are worth, you're releasing control of your self-worth into the hands of others. Well, who may or may not pay you due to factors you cannot control, including their own dis dysfunction. And I don't think that's a good idea, do you? If you tie your self-worth to your pricing, any kind of rejection can dampen your self-confidence and increase your self-doubt, which of course does not support you commanding a premium pricing. Instead, charge what your products and services are worth to your clients. Don't think about how many sessions or number of hours are included in your package. Think about the value your clients are getting. Creating and delivering value is the key to getting out of the hour for dollar model. If you can separate your self-worth from the value you deliver through your services, then the question, how can my time be worth that much? will not even enter the equation. If your client gets more out of your service than what they pay you, then offering them your package is doing them a service. The key is to communicate effectively so they understand the value of what you are offering and the impact it has on their lives. Most people, when selling high-end packages, get tripped up when they state the fees. They get nervous because they don't feel totally aligned and confident about their pricing. They have not completely stepped into the identity of who they want to be for their clients. They have not identified the one thing they want to be known for. They have not fully claimed their unique superpowers to set them apart from their competition. Claiming your superpowers is very critical in becoming confident when stating your fees. When you set yourself apart, you become one of, a one of a kind. If the supply is low and you create high demand by communicating the value you deliver, you can command a premium price without affecting sales. If you cannot be confident when stating your price, how can your potential clients be convinced that they are going to get more value than they're paying for? And that's what makes people buy, right? So here's a simple exercise I take my clients through when they hit a block on asking for more money. Write down how your work impacts your clients in the areas of health, career, finance, relationship, and personal growth. Then put a monetary value um, wherever possible and you may have to be creative. You may have to think a few layers or steps down and put a monetary value against each item. Now, add it all up and see for yourself how much value you deliver and create for your clients. Can you charge more? I bet the answer is a big fat yes.